Hey guys, John Canavan here, JJ DJ Entertainment. Just wanted to um, do a quick how-to video. I've seen more and more lately on the forums people asking for profiles of lights for Show Express. Um, it is extremely easy to make a profile. I just, I just don't know if you guys are lazy or you just don't have time in the middle of something you just want a quick fix. Um, but it really only takes all of two to three minutes to make a profile. Um, it'll take a little bit longer for me to explain it to you just so you guys understand. But once you get it down, I mean, you can make profiles on the roll. So the light we're going to make a profile for is the American DJ UV um, uh, LED Bar 16. So I've already went to AmericanDJ.com and downloaded their PDF manual, which I will open up. And then we will also will go ahead and open up Show Express. So let me just organize my windows here so they're you can see everything all together. Okay, so we got our our manual for the UV bar 16. Now we're going to go down to the page where it tells you which what the DMX values are. This is a three-channel DMX fixture. The first channel is the dimmer. The second channel is the program speed, and the third channel is some built-in programming and so forth. Okay, so those are the only three channels we have to make for this fixture. So it's real simple. So we go to Show Express, and we're going to go into the settings. Or, sorry, maybe it's not that simple. I'm just a little bit late here. We're going to go into the setup, not settings. Go to go into setup. It'll um, launch, and then you're going to click this icon right here. Now make sure you are on the um, the fixture settings tab, not the DMX dress. Again, make sure fixture settings is the tab you're on. Click the new um. New fixture, we're going to name this American DJ, I use for short ADJ, UV bar 16. Real simple. Boom. Okay. Do you want to save this current fixture? Yes. It's a new fixture. We're going to save it. Yes. Boom. Saved. And you can also see I've actually already made one, but we're just going to make one again just so I can show you guys. Now, this portion right here is if you're using 3D, and 3D is the 3D visualizer where you can program all your lights and everything. Um, it gives you the option for it either to be visible in 3D or not be visible in 3D. Right now, it is not a 3D view object, but you can um, easily add it to it, whether you make it up a PAR can or a color panel. We'll just go and make it look like a PAR can. So in 3D, you're going to have a PAR can. Um, and then really, you really don't have to fiddle with these unless you're working with a moving head. If you know the beam angle off the top of your head, you can put the beam angle in. But for the majority of people aren't using 3D, this, it's just real simple, just ignore that. Um, if you want to know about 3D, I can explain that in a separate video. So the next one is channels. This is where you're going to give it channels. You have your three channels here for your DMX value, so obviously you need three channels from there. So one, two, three. And they go in sequential order. That's going to be the first channel, second, and third. So what you do for channel one, just double click on the question marks. You know channel one is a dimmer, so we're gonna go over here and just look for a dimmer. And honestly, it really doesn't matter what you select here. Um, it just makes it a little bit cleaner when you're working on stuff. Channel two is the program speed. Um, I don't think there is a, a program speed button. So I think what I've used in the past, it, I've used either the um, effect speed, or no, I've used something else. But since there isn't a program speed option, we're just going to erase these, the three question marks. Type in program speed. Okay. And this one is the built-in quote-unquote macros or programs. So we're just going to find a macro button. Um, and I don't think there's a macro button in here. I know there's a color macro, but we're not dealing with colors. We'll just set this as the effect macro. Okay, and that's it. Pretty much, you hit, you hit save from here, and now you can go in and use that fixture. You can add it in. And over here, you, just, you know, you guys know how to add in, add in a fixture, double click, assign the address, yada yada yada. Um, so if we go back to this thing, you can go a little bit more of an advanced um, program, meaning you can set the pre-made levels. So for example, on channel three, zero to thirty is dimming, thirty-one to sixty-one strobe. 62 through 92 is increased intensity, so it's sort of like a pulsating. Um, 93, 123, you guys can read from there. So you guys can actually go in, select ch channel 3, and then you can make your individual levels. So if we said 
0 through 30 is the dimming. So we're going to put 0 30 down there. And you can actually, like I said, you can use the preset ones if they have the ones you need available. Or you can just fill in the blanks. And then the next one's going to be strobe. I'm not going to do all these. I'm just going to give you two to show you how this comes into play. Um, so 31 to 61 is going to be strobe. And I believe there is a strobe option in here. Okay, strobe, 31, 61. And like I said, you guys can go through and you can do all of them. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to do sound active because I know I will use sound active as a pre-made setting. 248 to 255. And again, that is sound active. And there is not a sound active pre-made icon or setting. Um, so we're just going to... Okay, boom. So we'll save this, and let me just go ahead and add it as a, a, a dummy fixture. UV 16, and just a note for myself to erase this one out after I get done with this video. So we had that, it's gonna be fixture 21. It is my UV 16, so on the light, I'm gonna set that to 21. And now when I go to program, it will be in there, and it's gonna be one of these icons, because that's what we set it to. Um, so here we go. You click um, on the, the UV 16, the light we're working on. We have channel one, which is dimmer, channel two, which is program speed, and channel three, which is our pre made macros. So, and what I was working on on this setting here, these, um, these individual levels for the effect macro, where those come in handy is when you're trying to program things fast. So, for example, um, Moving heads. Moving heads, you have a color wheel. You have all your pre-made colors, so you can just jump to them real quick instead of trying to drag and find the right color. Um, so what happens is from there, you can actually just click on this square here, and it's going to give you those pre-made options. So let's say I know I want to go sound active. It's automatically going to set it to the sound active channel. If I want it on strobe, just go ahead and click strobe, and it adjusts accordingly. So that's the, the advantage of by putting in the individual levels. Like I said, for a small fixture like this where you're really not doing much, you really don't need to go in depth with that. Now, if it's a moving head you're randomly putting in, yes, it could be beneficial in the long run to have all the colors and all the individual levels put in there so you can program a little bit faster. So that is my little brief tutorial. Um, like I said, it only takes two or three minutes to do once you get the hang of it. This video took eight minutes. Um, guys, keep practicing. If you have any questions, leave your comments below and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Take care.